Hello everyone, I'm Father Reed. We're back in Rome and uh, I'm here at the entrance to a chapel that is laden with history and with art. And I know you're going to recognize it the minute we walk in. So let's just go inside and take a look at a chapel that is absolutely magnificent. Ah yes, thanks to the extraordinary talents of Michelangelo, La Cappella Sistina, the Sistine Chapel here in the Vatican, has become one of the most famous art galleries in the Western world. But the Sistine Chapel is more than the sum of its artistic wonders. It is, as I said in the beginning, a sacred chapel in a place dense with history as the very room in which papal elections in conclave are held to this day. The Sistine Chapel was commissioned by Pope Sixtus IV, from whom it derives its name. And it was back in 1475 that it was commissioned. It was designed to be, and still is, the Pope's chapel. The Sistine Chapel was consecrated and dedicated to the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary on the 15th of August in 1483. Believe it or not, the Sistine ceiling was originally painted by Piero Matero D'Amelia, who included a star-spangled sky. But in 1508, Pope Julius II commissioned Michelangelo to do it again and to get it right. Michelangelo was called away from his work on the Pope's own tomb, and he was not terribly happy about the change. He had always insisted that he was a sculptor, and he really disliked painting frescoes. But the result, these incredible depictions of human bodies that could only be created by a sculptor now seem to make more sense when you know that. So the project Michelangelo hated so much, at least at first, ironically became his most well-known work. Michelangelo's famous Sistine ceiling depicts scenes from Genesis in dramatic and moving detail, while the last judgment on the end wall is striking and powerful. And as if that were not enough, the side walls are covered with important Renaissance frescoes by other artists depicting biblical scenes and contemporary popes. Michelangelo worked on the project between 1508 and October 31st, 1512 in cramped conditions, high up on scaffolding and under continuous pressure from the pope to hurry up. The project would permanently damage the artist's eyesight. Recently, however, the Sistine Chapel has been carefully cleaned and restored, saving Michelangelo's masterpiece for us to appreciate it here today and to inspire future generations. And so we must close the doors now on the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. I'm glad we had this time to be together and to see it close up. From Rome, from the Vatican, from the Sistine Chapel, I'm Father E. Ciao, ci vediamo presto.